from DTV Studios in Davison, Michigan, it's DTV News Live with Brittany Bush, Kelly Smith, and BJ Kalike on Sports. This is your DTV News Live, and it starts right now. Good morning, Davison. Today is December 8th, 2005. I'm Brittany Bush, here with Kelly Smith. The Cardinal Shop is open tonight from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock p.m. for the 5th Annual Holiday Open House. This year, Santa Claus will be on hand for a $5 photo opportunity, and gift wrapping will be available for a donation. Proceeds from the Santa photos and gift wrapping will benefit the Muscular Dystrophy Association. For kids, crossing the street after school can be a dangerous endeavor. One intersection in particular has seen its share of close calls. DTV's Melissa Harris is here with that story. Melissa? Thanks, Kelly. We went and set up our cameras at the corner of M15 and Clark Street. Then we talked with Marvin Masters, a longtime crossing guard, about some of the dangers that he and his kids face daily. Which way are you going today, buddy? Okay, we're hanging out right over there. Every day, Central Elementary students get out of school, and crossing guard Marvin Masters is there to see them safely across the street. We'll see you later. Just really not paying attention, making illegal turns. Uh, they're on the cell phones too much and they're just really not paying attention. Come on, guys. Realizing punishments may make you a little more aware. I've had conversation with the chief of police, Bill Brandon, and this uh, running a stop sign can be a very serious offense and very costly. $500 fine and possibly 90 days in jail. There have been many close calls, but no serious injuries have occurred. Every day is very dangerous out here. We, we have almost accidents every day and a lot of close calls. Uh, we had one a couple weeks ago where a man almost hit a boy. Uh, fortunately, he didn't. The safety of the kids is the most important thing. So when driving, especially in a school zone, take some extra precautions. I just think if people just take a couple extra seconds to look around them, just pay a little more attention, and stay off the cell phones while they're at the school crossing, it'd be so much safer for all the kids. Melissa Harris, DTV News. Thanks, Melissa. You know, I've actually seen somebody ignore that crossing guard on that corner. Yeah, let's hope that situation improves soon. The National Honor Society, Student Council, and DECA have teamed up to make this holiday season special for families of Genesee County through the Care and Share program. Please bring canned foods and non-perishable items to your first hour class. The classroom with the most donations will win a pizza party. Recently, the Delphi Corporation filed for bankruptcy. Delphi currently has one Flint plant and one technical center employing over 3,400 people. Delphi wants its hourly employees to take large cuts in their salary, health care, and retirement to stay competitive. And we have plenty more DTV News Live ahead. But first, we're going to stop for this commercial break. Where have you been? I was out with the guy. Don't lie to me. I can smell the perfume on your clothes. You don't trust me? Who pays the bills in this Who house? Who takes care of the house? Who makes you dinner every night and sits up worried waiting so for I you? So I can't have fun anymore without worrying about coming home early? Am I not good enough for you to come home to? If I didn't have to argue when I come home, I might. I wouldn't fight with you if you would give me a reason to trust you. I can't take your nagging what anymore. What do you do about it? Students for International Understanding, don't forget our holiday celebration in the Quad Room on Tuesday, December 13th from 3 p.m. until 5. Please sign up for Food in Mrs. Hungerford's room number 245. Shirts will be distributed on Tuesday and bringing a game would be great too. See you there. Students struggle with body image daily and it can have an adverse effect on person's behavior. When I got to the city there was a lot of, um, you're too big for us or you need to lose more weight, or you need to drop about 10 pounds, or this or that. Sometimes I feel like I wish I was a little bit more toned. <laughs> I don't like how I look in a dress. When I see next to people that are like smaller than me, I just feel like crap. I look at myself differently when I'm around them, and it's just, it's, it's very pressuring. Sometimes I think, hey, I broke my nose, I have a bump on my nose, I don't like it. If you wear something too tight, then everything shows. Today you meet few girls who are 100% secure in how they look. Every day, girls complain about how fat they think they look, or how they need to lose so much weight, when really, they have nice looking figures. I think that every girl feels that they need to lose a few pounds. Unless we want to go to uh, New York and be a model, that's a different story. A lot of the girls that I've lived with, um, being in the city, that are in the industry, um, have developed eating disorders or 
have gone to drastic measures as taking surgeries. Where do they learn these methods? Well, they learn them from other friends or they read about it in magazines. Or I understand you can go on the internet, and I haven't looked at this, but I intend to do that. You can go on the internet, how to become bulimic, how to become anorexic. Well, why is it that so many people need to be fixed? Well, obviously they think they do. And why is it that they think they have to be fixed because of other people? Television is telling them that, Hollywood is telling them that, um, other people are telling that. When they tell me that I need to lose weight, um, I just kind of take it as, as if somebody was saying hello or goodbye, you know, like it's not, I mean, you hear it so often. We shouldn't buy into that. No one actually looks like the girls in magazines do. That's all fake. A lot of young girls don't see the airbrushing and the lighting and the camera angles that they take to make you look like you're a size two, when really you're not a size two. Um, a lot of it is all digitally altered or digitally enhanced or scraped down so that you're not as big as what you really are. Um, and I think a lot of that is misleading for young girls. And really common sense for all of us in our society tells us what is good. Don't let it get to you. In a day, if you're walking through school or just on the street, people probably won't look at you. Even pay attention to like body size. Like if they're a funny person to, to be around, then it doesn't matter. Just be yourself. You're beautiful the way you are and you need to accept it and embrace it. Thanks, Kylie. Juniors, the guidance office finally has a scholarship for you. The Discover Card Tribute Award is available for students with a GPA of 2.75 that have experienced significant obstacles and who are also giving back to their community. Now, DTV's Brett Schooley is here with us today to talk about plagiarism and cheating. Brett? You know, Brittany, cheating and plagiarizing happen every day in the high school. Kids who think that cheating is an easy way out will find that it only hurts them in the long run. Please, Please remember, remember the, honor the honor system. system. No, no cheating. 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 Many of us try to get past our teacher's eyes, but do we really realize how it affects our future? The scholarships, you know, become available and then it's impossible for the teacher to give them a recommendation for scholarship if they cheated. Cheating probably won't be resolved anytime soon. But really, how are students cheating these days? There are all kinds of wonderful new ways to cheat. Um, people can cheat so much easier today with technology. Um, and that's why it's become even maybe a bigger issue. We all have learned. Teachers, they know everything. When an English teacher has been reading the student's work, they know the student's style. They know the way that the student formulates his sentences. They know the kind of vocabulary. The minute we see something that isn't characteristic of the student, we're, we become detectives, not English teachers. As many teachers inform you, you're only hurting yourself in the long run. You know, I can tell you that by cheating and plagiarizing that you're not, you know, you're shortchanging yourself in your high school experience and, you know, you're not living up to your full potential. But what it really comes down to is that you're not learning the skills that are needed for college. You're not learning how to you know, do good time management, how to be resourceful, and, and how to uh, just uh, depend on yourself to do your work. So winners never cheat, and cheaters never win. So the next time the opportunity arises, make your decision. Brett Schooley, DTV News. Thanks, Brett. Be sure to stay tuned. We'll be right back. Let's head over to BJ Calicay with today's edition of your DTV Sport. Thanks, ladies. 
Intramural basketball will begin tonight. Games will start at 7 and 8 p.m. Check the schedule outside the auditorium to see when your team plays. Let Mr. Moriarty know if your team is not able to attend. The wrestling team was in action also last night here in the gym. The Cardinals lost a hard-fought battle against Heartland, one of the premier teams in the state. The wrestlers fell behind early and never quite recovered. The match will be replayed Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at 7.30 on DTV. The next home match will be this Saturday at 10 a.m. Please come out and support your wrestlers. That's it for today's edition of your DTV Sports. Now back to Kelly and Brittany with the rest of your news. Thanks, BJ. Volunteers are needed to work a benefit breakfast on Sunday, December 11th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. to help pass out food and clean up at St. John's Church. Sign up on the Sheet in Their Career Center for this easy opportunity to get your NHS points. Community service points can be earned as well. After the devastating destruction due to Hurricane Katrina, the whole Davison School District staff and students pitched in to raise over $15,000 for the victims. DTV's Brett Schooley takes a look at the disaster and one effort to help out. Summer has come and passed the innocent... In the past month, Hurricane Katrina struck the Gulf Coast with enough force to devastate an entire nation. Millions of people were evacuated from the Mississippi New Orleans area. Seven years has gone so fast. Lives were displaced and erratic when scrambling created chaos throughout the region. Many Min Michigan residents, including students from the Davidson High School, have given their contributions to the cause. Whatever money was spent on the classes making their float, like say you spent $180 on your float, you would also match that and donate that to a fund the high school is going to create to send down to New Orleans or send to the Red Cross to help in that effort. Any profit we made from the homecoming dance, which we usually make a lot in, we we're going to, once we covered our expenses for the dance, we were going to send in to the high school's accounts. So once we paid off everybody, it turned out to be $2,500, so we're sending that in soon. If you would like to help in the effort, please contact your local American Red Cross. And that's it for your DTV News Live. From everybody here at DTV, have a wonderful day, DHS.